All right, so I have them both out now. I have the Riker out. Oh, that thing is clean. I'm looking at it on the camera versus in person. And on camera, it's clean, but in person, it's, just, it's a whole nother level of pop. Uh, but yeah. Uh, and that spider, of course, looking gorgeous over there. I just uh, never get enough of admiring these uh, these uh, these bikes, these uh, Can-Am products. My wife said to me this morning, she said, you like motorcycles, don't you? And I'm like, well, duh. Um, <laughs> after all these years of being married, 26, 20, whatever year, how many years we've been married, you should know that by now. Motorcycles, uh, just, I never get tired of looking at them. I never get tired of talking to people about them. I never get tired of seeing other people bikes as well. The reason why I like motorcycles is because they allow for you to have a blank canvas and kind of create and do your own thing with them uh, and make them your own. So I, I love that. I love vehicles too, but motorcycles is just, you know, it's just a whole nother world and it's a whole nother level of therapy. But anyway, let's go ahead and get to it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a little cleaning up on them and just kind of talk in general about uh, st some of these likes uh, and dislikes, if any, uh, that I have with the Canon Spider and the Riker. Uh, since I've owned them. Uh, and for this Riker, I think I bought this. I'm sorry, with the Spider, I bought the Spider in August of 21. And it is what, August, it's, uh, no, October 24. So I guess a little over three years. And the Riker was, I like, bought on November 21. So coming up on about three years for the Riker. So you see what it is? Let me do a little quick walk around the Riker. While it's in the sunlight, the sunlight just got it popping. Not much has been done to either one of them. Well, nothing has really been done to either one of them when it comes to engine work. I just don't do a lot of engine work on things that I have simply because I think uh, it's more than enough for the street. For me, personally, it's a personal decision. And also, I don't ever want to fool with uh, jeopardize anything with warranty, anything like that. So I just don't fool with the engine stuff. Uh, it's not like I need more power. I have more than enough power to kind of handle what I need to handle, get out of situations, things like that, with just the stock motor on that 900 um, Riker and on a Can-Am. So just don't have the need for it. I'd rather put my money in the cosmetics and other things. Um, I'm not, not that I'm opposed to I'm not opposed to it. It's just that I don't choose to do it. I just choose to spend money a little bit separately, a little bit differently. So, let's get to it. Let me get my tripod so I can do a little cleaning up on these vehicles. All right, so let's get to it. I want to just do a little cleaning here. Today is Sunday, October the 20th. Uh, it's actually a beautiful day. I started off cool this morning, but temperatures are supposed to get into the 70s today. So, uh, just going to get out here and enjoy this weather a little bit. Uh, but uh, I'm going to clean the day. I'm not really going to wash them. Uh, but I'm going to use a product that I have here called Flogenics. Uh, and this is what I normally use in between washings to kind of keep the bike clean. Flogenics. So I see a lot of fingerprints and just a lot of dust and stuff. Um, so I'm just going to wipe over it real quick. Uh, I typically just start from the back and work to the front or vice versa. Just spray a little bit. I have a clean cloth here. I just wipe it clean. And it is dusty. You, you probably can't see on camera how dusty it is, but when you up on it, when I'm looking at the paint, it's evident, it's very clear. Like I can actually take my finger and do this. I can see a mark left on the bike. That's not going to work. I've seen many can, um, cup holders and can, um, water containers or whatever for the Can-Am Spider. They have a lot of them that mount on the handlebar. Uh, I don't like it on the handlebar. I thought when I saw this mount option right here on the frame bar, I thought that was really slick and really neat. And, um, 
I thought that was the best solution for me. It's kind of like out of the way, tucked away a little bit. Um, it's not as obvious and big and bulky up here. Uh, but also, I just thought it gave it a sleek look and kind of added to the aesthetics of the bike overall. So, the rag that I'm using to clean the bike, I'm not going to use on this part right here because I see a lot of like little pebbles, little fine pebbles and stuff like that. Uh, that's on this part so i don't want those those products that i mean that stuff and necessarily in this clean rag so i'll use another rag to clean that part off i just want to kind of keep my this rag right here primarily for the body of the bike um and wipe over the you know just just for the body um try not to contaminate the cloth and also i try not to um drop it on the ground either when you drop your rag on the ground it picks up little fine pieces of debris in the cloth so this rag right here does not touch the ground once it touched the ground I don't use it anymore I use another rag until I'm able to clean it and wash it try to get all the little nooks and cranny whole lot better. Whole lot better. Do the front. And during the winter time, typically what I may do, and I think I'm gonna, I've done it, I did it a little bit last year, but I think I'm gonna do a whole lot more this year. Uh, for those extended periods of time in which I'm not riding, uh, I'm gonna, not only will it be in the garage, but I'm also have a cover, have a cover in the garage. There's some extra added steps there. And just wipe over. Nothing complicated. Not rocket science. Just try to keep it clean. One of the areas that I clean on the spider that I think you need to not forget about is this under section, this under tail section up under here. Don't forget about that. That needs. All right, guys. Sorry about that. I had a little uh, hiccup, a little interruption there. But I was saying, uh, my camera overheated on me. But I, what I was saying was the under section right up under here. Don't forget to get that cleaned up as well. Um, as you can see, there's probably some dust, you know, some little little dirt that you see on top of that chain on the top of that belt guard right there uh, I'm going to get that but I'm going to get that with a separate rag but I just kind of wipe over it and clean over it like that um, I'm not going to really wipe over this one right here it's probably a little dusty well I made the wipe over it but it still look still look clean to me but the spider was definitely dirty so I'm gonna wipe over it a little bit more and then I'm going to uh, bend the corners one or two. So I'll be back at you. I'm trying to wipe over and clean these wheels, but I truly think, I truly think the best way to keep these wheels or get these wheels super clean is actually take them off the bike and, and clean them. It's just hard to get in there. All these little pieces and get everything super clean the way I want it. And so I see, and I'm seeing a lot of, there are a lot of places I can't get to. <sighs> Tell me what your thoughts are, but I may just have to take the wheels off and just kind of clean them like in a tub of water outside, of course, not a tub in the house. But I feel like what I'm going to have to do, but that's not a job for today at all. 
because I'm spending a whole a beautiful day cleaning wheels when you need to be out there riding. So, but yeah, comment, like, subscribe below. Drop those questions down there that you may have. Um, if you if you are still on the fence and you have not made a purchase of a Canon Ryko or Canon Spider, and you and you're thinking about doing that and you have questions. Please hit your boy up, let me know. I would love to engage with you and kind of give you my perspective on things and, and my thoughts um, of owning both of them, the Spider and the Rika, uh, and would I do it again and all that kind of stuff. Most of you who know me know that, uh, of course I would do it again. and have no regrets at all, zero. Uh, love both of these uh, recreational vehicles, both of these motorcycles trikes, reverse trikes, Can-Am products, whatever you want to call it. Love them both. Um, so it's been a glorious like three years, like I said before. So just comment below and let me know uh, what questions you may have. Any suggestions you may have as well. Anything that I have not done that you want to see done. Um, and then I'll see what I can do. But um, yeah, hit your board, let me know. I appreciate the support as always. Now let me get out here and get some riding in, and I'm going to see can I get some of that footage as well, uh, best I can. But until next time, peace.